welcome back to the Mafuba Jar. We've been sealed away for another awesome video. And today, guys, we finally have the expansion set of set 9, the Namekian Surge expansion, and the Sand Surge expansion. Now, I know these are a little bit late. I do apologize for that. It did take them a little bit to get here shipped to me, but I did get an amazing deal on these, so that's why they did take a little bit longer to get here. But they are here now, and honestly, there's a lot of amazing stuff here. So you do obviously get the leader that corresponds with this. You get the Surge Super Sand God Goku leader, as well as the Gohan Piccolo leader, which I believe did very well in a very recent tournament, so that's really cool. If you look on the back of each, it gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect. You get three booster packs in these outs. That's pretty cool. You also get special promo cards as well, as well as the Surge Leader, of course. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and start with the Piccolo Gohan one. I'll leave the Goku for last. Nothing against it. I'm actually slightly more hyped for the Goku one. But I know everyone's talking about the Piccolo Gohan one right now, so I figure I should show that to you guys first. All right. Sweet minimal damage. Cause I hate it when I have to damage, especially box the arts that look this nice. Definitely don't want to damage them up at all. All right, so there's the three packs, and here are the special stuff that we get. As I said, including the new surge leader, which we're getting a couple more surge leaders in the actual set itself, plus the promo leaders, which did not get the promos because I did have to order this online. The promos are brick and mortar shops only, but that's all right. Alright, so I'll go ahead and show you guys the Unawakened side first. It's the Piccolo Frenzied Warrior. I can't believe that's the name they went with, but I don't think I could have come up with anything better, so it's alright. So, once per turn, at the beginning of your turn, you get to look at the top card of your deck, place one card on the top or bottom of your deck, then draw one card. Pretty good. And the new Awakening is Surge for these. You choose one blue card and one green card in your hand, place them under this card. You may draw three cards. Then choose up to one of your energy, switch it to active mode, and flip this card over. So some of the surge stuff here is really busted. And then this is your surge leader, Gohan and Piccolo, Surge of Consciousness. And activate main slash battle. Once per turn of your life is at three or less, you choose one card under this card place in your drop area. Then you get to choose one of the skills here. You could either You could either have your opponent send two cards from their hand to the warp. Or you get to have um, or you get to choose one blue green multicolor card in your drop area, negate its energy exhaust, and place it in your energy. That is, I didn't want to actually whistle to the camera because I know it's kind of high pitched, but man, that is amazing. Definitely, it's not very surprising the fact that this did so well. Let's put that there, and these are the, some of the cards. These are some of the unique cards that come with this. So heavy kick. Krillin, you get the non-foil surge here, so that's really, really awesome. A non-foil heavy kick Krillin, you get three of those. One foil, two non-foil. Master Roshi Kamehameha Origins, not bad. Got the Kaioken Goku Returns. There's Dr. Uryo Cybernetic Rebirth. And you get the Hidden Potential. Very good stuff in here. I know, like, outside of the leaders, a lot of these cards here are being used right now as well. And, actually, I'm going to wait till I open up the Goku expansion pack, then we're going to open up all six packs at once. I think that's a good way to go. And once again, I'm going to try not to damage it. I did really good with the Piccolo one. Yes, okay. I really don't want to damage that art. Now, as I said, this is the one that I was personally a little more hyped for, just because it's so cool that we're finally getting another Super Saiyan God leader. Because the only ones we had were the green one and the technically the starter coup on his on Awakened side. And those were both like set one stuff, so I've definitely been wanting a new one for a while. Alright, Super Saiyan Sun Goku. And I should have said this before, but with the new Surge stuff. These, this is a blue and a yellow leader. Same thing with Piccolo. I'm blue and yellow. Red and yellow. Wow, what's wrong with me? And the Piccolo is blue and green. So that's what the two colors here mean. 
You guys could probably figure that out, but in case people who are watching this are brand new to the game, figure I'd give that explanation. So the Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Sun Goku is out of his when his card attacks, draw two cards, then choose, a, then choose one card in your hand and place it in your drop area. Okay, that is really good. And his Awakened Surge, you choose one red card and one yellow card in your hand and place them under this card. You draw three cards, restand one of your energy and, swim, and flip them over. Okay, so he's the same as the Piccolo. And Super Saiyan God Sun Goku Surge of Divinity. Activate main slash battle. If your life is at five or less, and you choose one card under this card and place in its owner's drop barrier, you get to choose one. You have to choose all of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and negate their skills for the duration of the turn. That's pretty busted. And this card gains 10,000 power and critical for the duration of the turn. Not bad. Not bad at all. So it's a bit more aggressive than the Piccolo Gohan, but the Piccolo Gohan has a lot more control to it. So those are the advantages of each leader. And I'm personally a bit more of an aggro player myself. So that's another reason why I'm leaning slightly more towards this one. But again, that's just my personal thing. I'm not saying that the Piccolo Gohan's bad by any ways. It's like really busted and it's obviously proven itself in tournaments. What I'm saying is just my own personal preference. So we get the Gohan and Videl power couple. It's a pretty decent one. As, as before, you get the non-foil version of it. And you get, you get two copies of Gohan, I'm um, Gohan, of Sun Goku Nimbus Voyager. The two copies of Vegeta Time for Vacation. So you get three copies of the Gohan and Videl Power Couple. I wonder if this is random. If the foil card you get in here after the leader is just completely randomized. Or if it is this one specifically. Not really sure about that. So we have Goten and Trunks back to back. And we have Almighty Resistance. Again, both have some pretty good support cards with them. And now, last but certainly not least, certainly, certainly not le least, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> We've got our six packs here of Set 8 Malicious Machinations. Man, if one of these has a secret rare that I haven't been able to pull out of several boxes, that's going to be amazing. Alright, so we've got Android 21, Android 21 Leader, Dr. Urio, Gohan, Baby, we have Great Ape Goku, Vegeta, Rise of Dr. Urio, Dr. Cochin, Frieza, Shu, and Chi Chi Motherly Majesty. All right, we've got Cooler Ghost Warrior, Absolute Release Ball, Baby, Birth of a Super Saiyan God, Piccolo, hey, go figure, boop. Ghost Warriors, Matsukatsune, Android 21 Scheme, Kawazu, Dr. Urio's Revival, Pilaf, and Android 16. I will gladly, gladly take one of those. All righty, pack number three. So we have a Bulma, Mai, Gohan, Return of Planet Tuffle, Goten, Birthday Party, Super Saiyan 4 Goku Leader, Bulma's Advice, Piccolo, Ultimate Blow, a reverse card here, the Android Creator. Nice, and we got Trunks Saiyan Majesty. I don't know if it's just my personal luck, but the reverse foils aren't, at least to me, don't seem as common in this set. But again, that could just be my luck. All right, so we're gonna start off here with the Super Baby Leader, Turles, Vegeta, Baby, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Gohan Brainwashed, Bullet Brainwashed, Android 18 Leader, Kishimi, Destron Gas, another reverse, Goten Brainwashed, and the Dark Planet. That side there, two more packs. I swear I'm gonna flip if we do end up getting a secret rare. All right, so we have Cooler, Baby, Whis, Gotenks, Birthday Party, Krillin, Gohan, Bulma, Ultimate Blow, Maleficent Technique Cell, a reverse, not a reverse, um, Chi Chi Maluli Majesty Rare, and we get Dr. Udio Gigantic Bomber. Two supers and two reverses, that's not too bad. We still have one more pack left here though. Let's 
see what we get. So we got Absolute Release Ball, Baby, Hachiak, Bioman, Gohan, Defender God Goron, Oolong, SS4 Goku Leader, Trunks, Android 21 Scheme, we got Beerus Biting His Time, and Super Baby 2 Destructive Villain. Not bad. Honestly, out of the hero and villain rares, this one isn't really too terrible. Alright, guys, I I don't think we did too bad with the packs. See here we got the two our two reverses. We got our villain rare. Let me just put those to the side. And we got our two supers with Udio and Android 16, which is a pretty nice one. Especially now that Objection got the hammer. And we got all the stuff here from the search sets too, which are pretty dang good. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video here today, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like, comment down below, and guys, set nine is not too far away. I have got a lot of stuff coming from set nine, and the universe seven stuff alone has got me really hyped, but there's a lot of other good stuff to it as well, like, Urine finally gets a good leader, so that's gonna be awesome. Not to mention all those revamped leaders from the earlier sets can be really awesome to work with as well. So I can't wait for all of that. So guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time. And you've all been released.